Welcome to Physics 2. I'm your instructor, Dr. John Goldman. You'll see my smiling face on the next slide. If you made this far into the course, you have done great things. You have found the orientation videos, and you are looking at the first orientation video on the syllabus. Be sure to look at the second orientation video on the work required for this course so that you are prepared for that. There are other things in the Start Here folder that you should take a note of. The technical setup will show you how to set up the quizzes, how to set up the labs with the FET software and the Java um, edition, and how to take the exams and browser compatibility. So you want to check that out. Also you might want to check out the policy folder for information on the communication policies and the technical requirements of this course. Also check out the frequently asked questions. Uh, should you buy the book? Well, there are cheaper options. You can buy a previous edition of the book and that would be fine um, because we our question sets are unique and uh, not um, defined by the book. And which browser you should use and other sorts of information is there in the frequently asked questions. So check that out. For now, we want to focus on the syllabi and so we're going, to we're going to click on the syllabi folder here and there are two syllabi here. There's the course syllabus and the college syllabus and we are going to start with the course syllabus. So let's click on that here. Welcome to Physics 2. Physics 214. I'm your instructor, Dr. John Goldman. I reside in the Math, Science, and Administration building on the Decatur campus. If you go to the third floor of that building and go to the south end of that building, you have the natural science offices, and I'm in room 370C of, of those offices. You can call me on my phone, 306-2841, or send me an email, john.goben at calhoun.edu. I prefer that you contact me through the messages function of the Blackboard so I can keep a record of our conversation there. Uh, best time to see me is in the afternoons. Uh, just drop me a line that you might be stopping by just so I can let you know that I'm indeed going to be in my office at that time. This is Physics 2, Physics 214. Uh, the prerequisite for this course is Physics 213, which includes a prerequisite of Calculus 1 for that. This course provides a calculus-based study in classical physics. Topics included are simple harmonic motion, waves, sound, electrodynamics, AC and DC circuits, and magnetism. At the successful completion of this course, the student will be able to identify the basic principles and concepts of physics, apply physics concepts to the real world, apply techniques of problem solving, identify material to be used in future courses, and describe empiricism, the pursuit of knowledge through observation and experiment. Materials. Our official book for the course is Physics for Scientists and Engineers, the ninth edition by Surway and Jewett. Our bookstores sell the web assigned ebook bundle, which has both the loose leaf and online ebook versions of the book. We will not be using, in particular, web assign, which you could use just for your own fun but we are not making that part of the course. The ebook is, is convenient to have uh, on all of your devices, and the um, binder has all the information of the hardcover book. So this bundle costs a third less, or a third as much, as the uh, hardcover book, so it's a great deal. But uh, you may even save more money by buying a previous edition of the book. That's fine, because um, we are taking our problems in our unique way, not from the book themselves. So uh, any previous edition of the book is fine. You might want to purchase the binder from the bookstore, uh, the Physics 214 binder, uh, which has my uh, uh, lecture notes and study questions, but those are also downloadable from the Blackboard shell, so it's free from the shell. Sometimes it's just nice to have it all bound and printed out for you automatically. The labs and lab materials will all be provided online. Here's a um, link for the 
library services and for the student resources online at Calhoun. Our methods for this course would be Tegrity and or YouTube videos, which has lectures or the pertinent subject matter of the course, um, education and or YouTube videos of the solving the problems. All the problems in the problem sets are solved on video for you to look at the example. Uh, FET simulations for laboratory exercises. Be sure to look at the technical setup to see how to set up those simulations. And other online resources for videos, notes, and problem solutions, all that would be uh, optional if it were the, the links, um, e-links. Technical skills, please refer to the technical setup folder on the Start Here homepage for discussion of the minimum technical skills required for distance learning. Also in this folder will be the detailed instructions of how to set up and use all of the software listed above. Grading. Exams will be 75% of your grade. Four exams in a spring and fall semester, but in a summer semester that would be three exams. 75%, so in a spring and fall semester that is 18.75% per exam. In a summer semester it would be 25% per exam. The weekly quizzes comprises 10% of your final grade. Um, 12 of those in the um, spring or fall semester, that's 0.83% per quiz or 1% per quiz for 10 quizzes in the summer semester. The online laboratory is 15% of your final grade. That's seven labs in the spring or fall semester, 2.14% per lab, or six labs in the summer semester, which would be 2.5% per lab. My grades in Blackboard will maintain a running percentage of these three components in the course grade, allowing the student to see a current accounting of his or her standing in the course at that time. The grade scale is the weighted percentage of your exams, quizzes, and labs. 75% exams, 10% quizzes, and 15% labs are all weighted into this final percentage. Uh, the percentage uh, scale is what you're used to, 90 to 100% is an A, 80 to 89% is a B, and so forth and so on. We have particular rubrics for the grading. The exams will be 100 points per exam with an optional extra credit problem for plus 5 points. The first page of the exam will be a matching page. There will be 10 columns of matches, 2 points per match for 20 points. The second page will be two multiple choice problems. There are word problems, straightforward, uh, all or nothing, but the answers are there. Multiple choice problems for 20 points. And then there's the problem section, which will be six word problems, uh, probably two easy problems, two medium problems, and two hard problems. Um, 10 points each, partial credit given. Now, the partial credit on the word problems is awarded based on the accuracy of the formulas used the completeness of your approach, and the types of errors in the mathematical calculations. In demonstrating all these aspects, students must show all of their work to garner maximum partial credit. Generally, two hours will be given for the completion of an exam at one of the testing centers or by a proctor at a remote site. Exams will be graded by the instructor within a week following the due date of the exam. For fairness, the graded exams will not be returned to the student. Students may revisit the instructor during office hours to see their graded exam and or the student may request a summary of how their exam was graded. For the quizzes, the quizzes are patterned closely after the essential 10 problems for the chapters assigned that week. Each quiz is two problems, three problems in the summer semester, with each problem worth 10 points. The quizzes are 25 minutes long, 40 minutes in the summer semester. Answers are given as multiple choice selections, and the possibilities include uh, wrong answers, probably the most common type of wrong answer. So you want to be very careful with your um, solving of these quizzes. The quizzes are computer graded upon completion. 
The number of weekly quizzes is 12 during the spring and fall semester and 10 during the summer semester, with the overall weight of each quiz being about 1%. The quiz solution will be posted within 24 hours after the quiz due date. There are no makeup quizzes under any circumstances, although the lowest quiz score will be dropped at the end of the semester. The main purpose of the weekly quiz is to ensure that the student is keeping pace with the current material in the course. Seven labs will be assigned in the semester, the due date shown on the daily schedule, so you wish to refer to the daily schedule often. There will be six labs in the summer semester. The labs will be graded on the completeness of the answers, the completeness and accuracy of the data, the overall writing ability of the student, including grammar and spelling, and the adherence to the essential features of a lab report, especially the items that must be contained in the conclusion. A guide to these essential features is included within each lab's Word template, so you want to look at the template and the guide inside there. Labs will be personally graded on a scale of 15 points by the instructor within a week following the due date. At that time, the lab score and the feedback will be prov provided to the student. Some labs will have opportunities for extra credit. Our topics in this course include simple harmonic motion, waves, sound, electrodynamics, DC circuits, electricity, magnetism, power generation, and AC circuits. The most important of all this would be the circuits study. Policies. Students are referred to the college syllabus, also in the syllabi folder, for institutional poli policies regarding attendance, withdrawal, disability services, student code of conduct, academic integrity, and complaint procedures. Attendance in this distance education course will be recorded within the first week of the course by the student completing the assessment fun quiz as found in the technical setup folder uh, with the quiz subfolder in there. After the first week, the student's attendance record will be based on the student meeting course requirements such as submitting assignments, completing labs, completing quizzes, or being involved in messages or discussions. These activities are monitored automatically. If a student does not meet attendance requirements as stated in the college syllabus, the student is encouraged to officially withdraw from the course. Late work. Each chapter is due to be completed by the deadline date outlined in the daily schedule. So you want to check that daily schedule often. It is your roadmap for the course. It helps link the assignments with the assessments. All work, lectures, labs, quizzes, and exams should be completed by the deadline dates, which is usually midnight on a Sunday. Quizzes. There are no makeup quizzes for the weekly quizzes. Since students are allowed to drop their lowest weekly quiz, there remains sufficient recourse for a student to rebound from an unexpected missed quiz. The overall value of each weekly quiz, which is generally about 1%, is also relatively small in the grand context of the course. Exams are labs. Students under extreme and tragic circumstances who have missed the deadline for an exam or lab should contact the instructor as soon as possible to outline a course of action for makeup. Communication. Our preferred communication in this physics course will be through the messages function within the course. When you log into the course, this tab will be near the top on the left-hand side. Files such as Adobe PDF or Pictures JPG can be attached and sent using messages. For topics of general interest to the course, students are encouraged to communicate through the discussions function within the course. This way, all can benefit from the ensuing discussion. High discussion activity by the student will earn extra credit consideration. For all forms of communication within the course, the students are required to be respectful of others, especially with electronic communication where students are devoid of visual aids and inflection in communication. It is essential to be mindful of the language that is used. Students should be aware of and be particularly sensitive to cultural differences. 
All written communication should use proper spelling and grammar. As mentioned above, this is part of the grading rubric for the laboratory and exam questions. The instructor can always be contacted via any email account to his Calhoun email address, john.goldman at calhoun.edu, although messages is much preferred. All assignment submissions should be to messages. Final exam to be complete by the closing time at one of the testing centers on and check your daily schedule for this final exam date. Here's the daily schedule for this Physics 2 course. It says fall 2015, but this will be tailored to whatever semester you are in. And what is key on this daily schedule are the due dates. So the quizzes are due uh, at midnight on a Sunday, and so are the labs on particular Sundays at midnight. And you also want to check out the due dates for the exams, which are in blue. Uh, those will be the final day that you can take the exam at the testing centers. So you can always do this work early if you wish. Uh, quizzes, labs, exams. Exams will be available at the testing centers early. So you can always do it on an earlier date. You just can't do it on a later date than these due dates. So this daily schedule, which is your roadmap for the course, is especially uh, important for finding the due dates of things. Uh, it's a suggested roadmap as far as looking at the lectures. You can watch the lectures at any time you wish and do the work at any time you wish, just as long as you follow these due dates and do not miss those. Here's the college syllabus, and what's important on this page is in particular um, for distance education and hybrid courses that you have to make a submission of a completed assignment within the first week of course. And our submission will be the fun quiz found in the quizzes subfolder of the technical uh, setup on the Start Here page. So go in the technical setup find the quizzes subfolder, learn how to take the quizzes and take that fun quiz, and now establish your attendance for the course in the first week of the course. After that, uh, I will be able to see whether you are being active in the course by you completing assignments and, and looking at things or writing things in the discussions, and I will be able to uh, monitor that you are being active in the course. So that will be your attendance from that point on. Also in the college syllabus are the institutional policies, uh, withdrawal policy. You want, might want to check this out if you select to uh, withdraw from the course. There is a deadline, usually about two-thirds through the um, semester, where you can withdraw and still receive just a W uh, for that. Um, check out the disability services. If you have a, a need for special materials, service, or assistance, contact this office here in the Chastain Student Center. And the student code of conduct, academic integrity, student complaint procedures, these are all found in the um, student in the manual, student handbook, found online at www.calhoun.edu. So check these out when you have time. Our communication is, as I stated, through the messages function in this course, but Calhoun will communicate to you through a space email account which you are given through Calhoun. So you will receive information from Calhoun to that account. So you might want to check that out. I will not be sending you information about the course through that account. We will do all of our communication through the messages function within the course itself. 